everyone and welcome to Boxer Size. 30 minutes of punching and sweating tonight. Um, hope you're joining me. Please say hi if you're with me live um, so I know I've got somebody else doing it or leave a comment if you're doing it another time. Okay, we'll get warmed up to begin with. You don't need any gloves on, but if you've got some, um, do put them on. You will need a mat or a carpeted floor because we're going to be doing lots of ab intervals tonight. Okay, so lots of punching um, and lots of abs. Okay, let's get going. So stepping side to side, big steps, swinging your arms, getting that blood pumping. I think we're all pretty warm already today. But just let's get that body moving for a couple of minutes first. Raising your arms, stepping from side to side. If any of the exercises don't feel right or feel painful, please don't do them. Listen to your body. I'll try and give you different options for each exercise. Good. So nice deep breaths. Let's hope after 30 minutes, the end of this workout, you're feeling a whole lot better than before you started. Okay, take it into a little bit of a jog. You can march on the spot if you wish. Stick to marching, take your heels to your bum. Oh, I can feel it already, you're gonna be sweating tonight. How you doing it out in your garden? I should have done mine in my garden. Not cut my grass. I have to cut my grass for Wednesday. Okay. Just give your ankles a little bit of a circle as well there. We're going to go through the punches to begin with. And um, for those who, of you who are not familiar with the punches, for those of you who are, it's a good time to recap and make sure that you're doing all the technical things properly. Okay, we're going to start with jabs. So left foot in front, nice soft knees, hands in guard position, and we're punching it out there. So turning your full body, straight armed, you're punching straight ahead. You're turning your hips, you're turning your shoulders, and you're moving that back heel. Make sure it's not stuck to the floor. Then that will enable you to move and turn your knee without putting any pressure on your knee. Good, we'll do four more. Three, two, one. Okay, marching in between. Do take it easy um, in the warm-up punches. You can let rip um, when we start in the rounds. Okay, next punch, head hooks. One foot in front, soft knees again, same body movement. You're using your hips a little bit more in these ones. Good. Elbows nice and high. Keep those gloves up when you're not punching. Good, really twist into each punch. We'll do four more. Three, two, one. Okay, and marching in between. Give your shoulder roll, breathe deep. So far, so good. Okay, body hooks in, next punch, same boxing stance each time, elbows in, smaller punches. So you're really turning your shoulders with your hips, your back heel still moving. As you know, this isn't my favourite punch without actually punching anything. But keep them tight, keep your elbows in, keep the power, really twist and turn with your abs. Good, we'll do four more, three, two, one. And back to marching, we don't do that many. We'll be doing them again in the last round. Okay, two more punches to go, uppercuts. And your next punch, elbows in, using your legs, under and up, switching from side to side, turning round, watch you don't punch yourself in your face. Keep that bend on your elbow all the time. Don't straighten your arms out. Good, keep them in, under and up. We'll do four more. Three, two, one. Good, and marching in between. Oh, I'm sweating already. Are you? Whoo. Okay, last punch, high jabs. Not technically a boxing move, but boxing for fitness move, definitely. You're punching up. You're twisting round. You're feeling it down your side. You're punching straight and strong every time. Good, keep turning those shoulders. Make sure that back heel's not stuck to the floor. Excellent, four more. Three, two, one. Good work, okay, so we've gone through the punches. You should be feeling a little bit warm. You should know what we're doing. We're not putting too much legs in tonight. We're gonna to stick to punching and ab intervals. 60 seconds of each, alternating between standing and on the floor. Okay, first round, we're gonna do six punches. Keep marching, I'll show you what we're gonna do. And two jabs, two hooks two uppercuts, and then a roll, okay? 
60 seconds. Are you with me? Let's go. You can put a little bit more into it now. I'll try not to mess these up. So tearing your body, using your body, not just your arms, your full body's got to go behind each punch. Punching it forward. Good, and using your legs. And a roll, keep them going. Go whatever speed you want. You could be going double speed to me. But make sure you're moving. Make sure the full body's moving every single time. Good, punch it out there, come on. Let's get working hard. Good, 20 more seconds of these punches. Good, keep going nice and strong. Turning on each punch. Two more. And last time, two jabs, two hooks, two uppercuts, and a roll. Good work. Okay, grab your mat. Hard to do if you've got gloves on. Basics of the first round. We're not actually punching, we're just working your abs. 60 seconds. We did these in this morning's workout. I do apologise. Arms and legs outstretched, reaching high. Off we go. You can do single legs. And you can do double legs if you wish. It's up to you. If your back doesn't feel good doing your double legs, stick to the single legs. Maybe you're reaching up to your laces. You should be able to reach with your gloves on. Can you reach your laces? Keep trying, but make sure you're lifting through your shoulders, with your shoulders, not with your head and neck. Good, good. Reaching high, lifting that leg up. Option, if you're feeling it on your back, just lift your knee and keep your back supported. If not, keep raising your legs. Ooh. Or even double legs. Ten more seconds. Then we're back on our feet again. Reach high. Last two. Reach it. Good, last one. Excellent. Okay, slowly up on your feet. Not too much of a rest. Put your mat out of the way. Next round, we're going to do same arm punches with a switch. On the switch, you can either jump or you can step. Whichever foot is in front, that's the arm that you're punching with. Okay, 60 seconds. Jab, hook, uppercut, switch. Off we go. Hook, uppercut. Good. Punch it out. Use your hips. Use your legs. Full body power. Good. Give it your best. Good work. We well, should be fully warmed up now. You should be giving it your 100% each time. Use your hips. Turn into it. Good work. 30 seconds to go, nice and strong and steady, feel the power, exaggerate those body movements, turn it. Good work, power through it, strong and steady this round. We will do some speed rounds. Good work, couple more. Good stuff last time, hook. Uppercut and jump. Okay, we're back on the mat again. Grab your mat, which is a challenge in itself with the gloves on. Ooh. Okay, we're crunching and punching this round. We're crunching, doing two jabs and back down again. Remember, you don't need to go all the way up. When you're this high, your abs aren't working as hard as they are when you're here. Okay, so you don't have to come all the way up. Feet on the floor, crunch, jab, jab, down. Let's go. And down, okay, so remember, you're not reaching, you're punching. Use your shoulders still. Bang, bang, good, each one nice and strong. Get that crunch set up, crunch it, punch it, and down. Good, you're punching forward in these ones. We've got a couple more rounds of these, so that's something to look forward to. 
if you're feeling your abs working now, which it should be. Good, nice and strong. Got 15 seconds to go. Has anyone had the tea before they've done this workout? Ooh, just me then. Oh, last one. Crunch, crunch, and down. Well done. On to your feet. Let's move the mat out of the way. Before we go on to our next 60 seconds, which is going to be jabs and star jumps. Four jabs, left, right, left, right. Two stars. Option is your half stars on this. If in doubt at any point, just keep punching. Okay, are we ready? Four jabs, two stars. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Nice and strong with the star jump. Get your foot back into position before you punch. Breathe deep. Good, keep it going. Punch them out there. It's a great way to get rid of any stress as well, boxer size. If there's someone that's pissing you off, think of them. You see, that made you punch a little bit harder, didn't it? Four, three, two, one, 20 seconds to go. Through one. Four, three, two, one. Keep them nice and strong. Are you giving it your best? One more time. Four, three, two, one. Good work. Okay. We're grabbing our mats again. I did tell you there was lots of abs tonight. For those of you who've had weekend indulgences, if your abs are aching, it kind of remind. I always think it reminds you to eat better, eat healthier. Okay, we're doing crunches and jabs. We're doing high jabs, single high jabs. You're punching slightly across and you're getting a bit of a twist going on. I already 60 seconds again. Crunch, big punch, and down. Slow these down a little bit. Get that strong crunch and big punch. Make sure those shoulders are moving. You've got a slight twist as you punch in each time. Lift it with your shoulders. Good, keep it going. You can add your own sound effects. You don't have to listen to mine. Punch it out there. I'm sorry. Crunch it, punch it, and down again. 20 seconds, crunch it. Punch it and down, keep going. Crunch it, punch it and down. Good work, keep them strong. We'll do four more. Three more. Make sure you get a twist, last two. And last one, punch it. And down there, well done. Okay, back onto your feet again. Squats and hooks, next round. So again, slowing it down. Your feet are level in this position, so you don't need one foot in front. You're doing a steep squat and then a big hook. These are your big power punches. Full body turn, right down your side here. Deep squat. Ready, 60 seconds. Off we go. Big punch. Good. Really give it some now. Turn into that punch, squatting deep. Don't get them too smooth when you're doing a knee bend arm stretch. You're doing a deep squat and a big punch. Big punch, good. Turn into it. Keep them strong. You don't necessarily have to be going high speed to get your heart rate up and to be working hard. It's the effort that you're putting in that's counting. So make sure you're using 100% effort here. Good work, 10 more seconds. Power it up. Last two, big punch, I'm finished on a good one. Good, I don't know where that sound effect came from. Okay, marching, 
Go back on the mat again. Grab your mat. The reason I've not kept the mat out is because you can slip on them depending on um, what floor surface you've got on. If you move them out of the way in between, your floor might be fine for um, punching on, but there is a little bit of a slip. So that's why I'm moving it out every time rather than standing on it. Okay, oblique crunches this time. No punches involved. Feet on or off the floor. I'll do mine off. I'll show you all variations. Elbow to knee, off we go. Good. So you're keeping your gloves either side of your head. You're turning your shoulder. You're aiming your elbow for the outside of your knee. Now, if you're feeling this in your lower back, then put your foot down in between. Your back will be a little bit more supported. You're still going to go for that twist. Whether or not you're pushing out or not, your twist is the important bit. Good. Breathe deep while you're doing them, all the way around. You can rest this elbow on to push you around a little bit more, as I'm doing. I've completely lost track of time. I don't know when we started now. Keep going, we'll do four more. Push it, three. Last two, and last one. Good, good. Sorry about that, I was so good with timings up until that point. Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. Who knows, you're still here. Okay, next round, speeding up, we're gonna do four uppercuts. I'm gonna go back to that jump switch, nice and fast, okay? Remember you can step if you want. We're doing left, right, left, right on this side. Left foot in front, so you're starting with your left. Nice and fast, four and jump. Are we ready? Let's go, four, three, two, one, jump. Four, three, two, one, jump. Good, moving your shoulders. Moving your hips. Good work. Woo, get a sweat on now. Moving it a little bit faster. Make sure that back heel's not stuck to the floor. I lost my rhythm then. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Good, keep powering away. Now make those punches a little bit stronger. Use your legs. Three, two, one, good. Four, three, two, one, 15 seconds. Shoulders moving. Two, one, good, keep it strong. Four, three, two, one, two more times. Four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one. Woo, did you get out of breath doing that? Or was it just me? Okay, we're on to the floor. Final time on the floor. We're planking and we're punching. The punch is optional, you don't have to add it. You can do these on your knees or on your toes. You can hold each position or add the punches in. OCD, I'm just getting my mat lined up in line with the floorboards. Okay, we still not it'll aggravate me now. Okay, plank position, knees or toes. Pull in your abs and let's go, 40 seconds. If you're adding a punch, keep your hips really still as you switch from elbow to elbow. Try and keep your neck nice and straight, which I wasn't doing in the first 10 seconds there. Good, punch them out, pull those abs in. Remember, if you're feeling it in your lower back, just drop your knees, okay? If you're not, stay on your toes. I wasn't. Good, punch them strong. 15 more seconds. Keep it going. Punch them out there, keep it strong. Pull it all in. We're in it together. We'll do four more punches. Three, two, and last one. And rest it there, good. Just take a little bit of a lower back stretch here, drop your head. Nice deep breath, give your hips a wiggle, easing off your lower back. If your lower back, you feel it in the plank. If you're doing exercises to strengthen it, hopefully it should improve. But if you need to, always put your knees down. Okay, we're finishing with left, right punches. Oh, it's a good five minute round, so it's not, we're not quite there. 
Have you got lots of energy? Are you ready to go? 20 seconds punching and 10 seconds jogging or marching in between. This is the round, we're doing 10 rounds. I want you to give it your full power on everything. Giving it everything you've got. I'm just checking, I'm just chatting till that countdown goes. Okay, we're gonna start with jabs. So left foot in front, left right punches. Let's go. 20 seconds of your finest jabs. Your fiercest jabs. Good, power them out there. This is where you unleash whatever energy you've got within you and go for it. Three, two, one, and marching or jogging in between. Okay, just left, right punches, nothing else to think about. Left foot in front, head hooks. Let's go, so left, right punches, full power though. Don't want no 95% effort, 100%. Good work, keep them strong. Power those hips. Two, one, and back to jogging again. Well done. Body hooks are our next one. 20 seconds, left foot in front, let it all go. Off we go. So shoulders and hips moving. Small movement, but still loads of power. Feel those abs working. You should do. Keep them strong, keep them going. Whew. Good work. Three, two, one. And back to jogging or marching. Give your shoulders a roll. Other cuts are coming up. Left foot in front, let's go. Good, so you can take them strong and steady or you can speed them up. It's up to you, you're using your legs a lot. You're squeezing through your glutes, you're powering through your hips. Good work, 100%, no less. Three, two, one, and back to jogging, home marching. Good work, we're nearly at the halfway point. High jabs, are you next? Are we ready? Let's go, power them out. You should be 100 times stronger than we, when we did these in the warm up. You should be letting rip all that body power within you. Good, keep them strong. Three, two, one, and back to jogging. Well done, okay. Five more rounds. Deep breath. We're starting with jabs. Off we go. So if you didn't give 100% in the first round, you've got to do it now. The more of your body that's moving, the more calories you're burning. Good work. The higher your heart rate is, the fitter you will be getting. Keep it going. Three, two, one. And back to jogging. Take that breath. You should need it if you're working hard in the 20 seconds. Left foot in front. Head hooks and we're ready. Big punches. Power them out. Good, good work, keep them strong all the way through. Don't start off strong and not finish strong. Good, keep the power on for four, three, two, one. And back to jogging. Good work, three more rounds to go. Are we ready? Body hooks, elbows in, let's go. Good, so moving your shoulders a lot, turning your hips. Punching it out there. Can't keep it going. Whew. Breathing deep. Nearly there. I'm watching the clock on these ones. Three, two, one. And back to march here. Don't like those ones. Don't know why. Everyone's got the favourite punch. Okay, upper cuts. In position. Let's go. I'm speeding them up a little bit this time. Still using your legs. Still moving your shoulders. Still turning your hips and using that back heel. It's off the floor. Power them out. Come on, let's have that extra bit of power in. Good stuff. Three, two, one. And back to jogging. It's our final round. 20 seconds. Whichever is your favourite punch. Are we ready? I'm going to do head hooks. Let's go. 
you might be jabbing, you might be doing uppercuts again, whatever it is, 110% effort, keep them strong, keep them going, power them up, I'm going to add 10 more seconds on to that, because you should be loving it, hands up, you've got 10 seconds to go, breathe deep, that's four, three, two, one, and you can march it there. I apologise, I like adding these extra seconds on the end. Good work, everybody. Take your gloves off if you've got them on. Nice sweaty hands. Make your um, adjustments to your leggings. Might just be me. Oh, breathe deep. Just slow your feet down there. You should gradually feel your heart rate coming down as you slow your legs down. Breathing deep so we can go into some stretches. Okay, grab a drink if you want to here. As usual, I forgot to bring mine through. Okay, we'll go into hamstring stretches, resting on your bent leg, pushing your hips back. You should feel like you need this stretch now. If you've worked hard, I hope you end each workout session feeling like you've done your very best. Good, nice deep breath. You might feel the sweat as you lean forward, you might feel all the sweat pouring down your face, which I can. Reaching forward, you don't need to touch your toes, but if you want to, to increase that stretch, keep your neck nice and straight in line with your spine. Rest on this bent leg here. Okay, and grabbing your ankle. Do whatever you need to with your hand for balance. Knees together, squeeze your bum, push that hip forward. Keep your shoulders back. <sighs> Don't you feel glad that you've done that workout? It's very rare you feel worse after a workout. You might feel more tired or a little bit more hungry. But you should definitely feel good after a workout. If you don't feel good after a workout, um, I hope you do after boxercise. Because what I was going to say, if you don't feel good after a workout, change the exercise you're doing. There'll always be one exercise that makes you feel good afterwards. Hopefully it's my glasses, but it might not be. Um, and I'm okay with that. You've got to do something you enjoy. If you don't enjoy it, you're not going to be consistent. Okay, push your arms forward. Take a big breath in. Good, feel that stretch across your upper back. When you're doing head hooks, you're working really hard in your upper back and the backs of your shoulders. So push them out there. And then reaching back around, push your chest out. Breathing, lift your chin off your chest as well. Get a good stretch going on. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good, good. Okay, crossing one leg over the other, the leg that's crossed forward, reach up nice and high, rest on your hip, and then just lean across. You should feel a lovely stretch down your side. Good, remember to keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And onto the other side, I'm doing that move again. Okay, reaching up, leaning across, breathing deeply. So you feel a stretch right down there. Dirty dancing move, that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Giving your shoulders a roll, your arms and legs a bit of a shake. We're gonna finish with three rounds. Oh, the breeze has come now. Three rounds of reaching down, breathing in. Breathe and stretch right to your fingertips. And again, breathing out, breathing in. Big stretch, you should be feeling so proud of yourself right now as well. And final time, breathing out. Big breath in, big stretch. Feel all that energy and coming back into your body and slowly bringing your arms down there. Well done everybody, thank you for joining in. Please do let me know if you've joined in the workouts. Um, I'll be, just as a class notice here, I'll be giving out details. I am starting outdoor classes. Um, initially, there'll be only five people in the class that
that are allowed in the class at a time. However, I'm hoping that maybe even this week that those numbers may be um, increased. Um, I will be doing details, um, giving them out tomorrow. Um, I, the reason I've held back is because I know that there's a lot of people, I'm hoping there's a lot of people want to come and there won't be spaces for everybody. I've been trying to think of a really fair way to do them. Um, I still haven't thought of it yet, um, but yeah, I'm going to be thinking tomorrow, you'll have to get in touch with me, And but if you don't get a place, the, the places will be increasing very soon hopefully, so hold on, okay, um, that notice out the way, um, have a good evening everybody, I forgot what to say then, have a good evening everybody, I will be back on Wednesday evening with Boxercise again, we'll be doing lots of kicking um, and various kickboxing moves, so that's something to look forward to. In the meantime, have a great evening, have a great day, and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you for watching, thank you for working out with me.